We're here at Think LA's Entertainment Breakfast 2015. I have the pleasure of speaking with Abby Thomas. Big Data, it's it's a marketer's best friend and kind of worst enemy, especially when it comes to video. Yeah. Has Big Data hurt or helped your ability or the industry's ability to target accurately? And how are you guys kind of attacking this challenge of trying to decipher you know, the right analytics from this big data mess we're, we're, we're approached with? Yeah. In entertainment, it's, it's difficult because there isn't sort of a closed loop attribution, right? I mean, you're, especially for studios, you're not able to follow someone completely to the end of purchase. And, um, you know, some of the majority of ticket sales are happening offline, not online. So there's there's challenges with all that. Um, and same in television. We do a bit business in TV. And, you know, I think to entertainment, there's still this, like, really strong emphasis, which is what I love about the category, on gut instincts and hunch and what, you know, what has worked for me in the past and what do I feel in my bones is going to open this film or going to make this TV show happen. And so there's a part of that that you can't calculate for, right? It's just that's the marketer's job, right, to understand what in their bones do they feel is going to work or not. Um, what you can do, though, is learn about the different data sources out there and learn what levers to pull when you need them. And I think that's where programmatic can be interesting to an entertainment advertiser. I mean, these guys have to open movie after movie or TV show after TV show. I mean, you don't see someone like Honda launching 10 different cars in a summer. You know what I mean? But you see that often in entertainment. So to be able to learn what data sources can work for them and then reuse them again and again is, I think, key um, to this. But it's definitely not the only thing that's going to drive their business.